There's a ticking time bomb in the back country of the South Island. In fact, it's more like a stealth bomber. It's creeping up on us. And if we just ignore it, our rivers are basically screwed. I'm Logan Williams, scientist, entrepreneur, inventor, bomb squad. Can I please have the mince and cheese? So I'm a proud born and bred South Cantabrian. This is my backyard. As a kid, I spent most of my time in the waterways here. This river was so pristine. Today, it's infected with a disgusting brown sludge called Didymo. So Didymo, or rock snot as it's affectionately known, is absolutely everywhere across the South Island. Unfortunately for us, this stuff thrives in cold, clean, low nitrogen water. So New Zealand South Island, it's perfect. And once it's established, it just takes over everything. The river effectively dies. So after seeing Didymo completely destroy the waterways I love, I was incredibly angry because I felt like no one was doing anything about it. So I translated that anger to try and find a solution to solve Didymo. At the time, I was studying a Bachelor Degree of Science at University of Canterbury and had learned a bit about materials engineering as well. And that's what kind of sparked my inspiration. I actually ended up becoming infatuated with Didymo. The large bloom is what makes Didymo incredibly unique. And it's these filaments that you can layer on top of one another in order to make a material from it. So I've managed to synthesize Didymo into bioplastic, which is completely recyclable, eco-friendly, and could be an alternative to plastics in all of our consumer goods. Didymo can be sustainably removed from our environment constantly. That way, our native flora and fauna have a chance to fight and survive, so we can actually create a sustainable solution to eradicate Didymo completely from New Zealand's waterways. I feel like the true solution is building social enterprise and businesses around conservation. That way it's sustainable because it's self-funding and I think that's a long-term solution for conservation in New Zealand.